another old chestnut to open the second half of this. Lift thine eyes from Elijah. If you have a choir that's reasonably strong, don't overlook choruses from major oratorios. There are many, many, many good things. This uh, particular piece just for, for SSA, but I went on a, a trip with Mike Martin's high school choir to Italy several years ago, and he asked me to conduct some things. So we did two or three pieces from Elijah, two that I know. Uh, he watching over Israel, and uh, blessed are they that, that fear him. And the students love it. And the audiences really enjoy them, I think. It's, it's a little different from it. And you can string two or three pieces together. Doing a concert for most of us is like doing this clinic. You conduct for three minutes, and you turn around and bow. And you turn around, and your head is still in that piece, and you got to get it into the new piece. You know, put groups of things together and make the audience sit still for a little longer and it gives you time to think. Even if they're not out of the same work, they can be related in some way or just say, we're doing the next three pieces and would like to do them without interruption. That may mean that when you are turning the page on the last one, you put your hand out here. That says to the audience, keep still. Don't make a sound. And at the same time, if your singers get to the end of a piece, they've got to have their eyes glued on you. Because if they start fidgeting, they'll start clapping. So, you know, there are lots of little tricks to this game. You just have to be more stubborn than the rest of them. Okay, so here we go. SSA. Guys, feel free to, to double. Those are things you work on. And 
and then going on to measure five, whence come this and nothing, but instead of whence come it, when they'll clip that to, as you're showing them to, to clip. So we as conductors need to study the text and do, do all sorts of manipulation in our pattern. easy uh, in the choral parts, but, but they are independent. Rhythmic accompaniment, the trumpet adds interest to this. You won't hear a trumpet today. You don't have a trumpet. Christy didn't bring her instrument. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of easy uh, line by line translation inside the cover with pronunciation.
CTTV, this piece was commissioned by uh, Bob Ford and the Ohio State Men's Glee Club. I think this is very approachable by ninth to 12th graders. I, I think the Ohio State guys will get bored with it if, unless they learn it really quickly. Uh, maybe they have to learn it to, to get a recording of it, I don't know. One of the hardest things to do and that with it with the younger group is to get them to sing in unison, which means all the vowel sounds have to be matched so that so that it has a, a real unity in the sound.
Jose Mendelssohn Heilig we might choose to do a recording on the <coughs> double choir. The German is, is really pretty easy and depending on what the recording sounds like you pick up most of it there. Uh, the singers need to subdivide when they're singing this. It's in two, but they really have to think um, um, and there's some dotted quarter eight notes and so forth. And so take a listen. Thank you. 
English word A N D is one of the hardest words in the English language to begin a phrase with when singing because we get all sorts of glottal stuff. So you got to work with the singers. You breathe and you phonate. Don't don't hold the breath because if you do, then when when the folds open, you get that.